Hello everyone. Welcome to Math 1350 Video Lesson Chapter 3 Section 4. Chapter Section 4 deals with multiplication of whole numbers. So let's review what are whole numbers. Well, we first start off with natural numbers. Remember, natural numbers are our counting numbers. When you, start, when you say start counting, you count from 1, 2, 3, four, and so on and so forth. So that's a natural number. Whole numbers, if you think about a whole, that's what it starts off with. Numbers begin with a whole. Zero. Then go one, two, three, four, and so on and so, so forth. So in essence, it's the natural numbers plus zero. Okay, now. In engineering, in mathematics and engineering, is that a letter O or number zero? To separate that, a lot of times we put the slash through there. Because in computer engineering, when you do programs, if I ask you to write that as a code name, then we know it's zero Z O five zero. So so it's natural numbers plus zero. So if you ever see me write that, you'd understand what it is. Now, in this section, we have to understand something called the base system and how it works. We use a, ba uh, a base 10 system. We call those decimals. Deci means 10. In other words, our numbers start off at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The next number after that is a 10, an 11, a 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then it jumps to 20. It goes all the way to 29. Then to 30. To 39. All the way to 90. To 99. Then it jumps to 100. Zero, zero, to 100. So, the last digits are these. We only change the leading digit in the first one. So, all the first digits are 1, then the next one are all 2s, then all 3s. Then, the first two are frozen. The first one changes. 100, 200, 300, 400. So, it's always counting that way. That's what we call the base set. If you count these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are our 10 digits. Now, let's review exponents. We know what 10 squared. 10 squared means 10 times 10. 10 to the fifth would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. The exponent tells us there are five of those numbers. This is called the base, and that's called the exponent or power. The exponent tells us how many times.
we multiply the base number to itself. So in this case, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have five zeros. 100,000. All right. So now let's see how that relates to what we've been doing all our lives. Ooh, another thing. So we know 10 to the third is 10 times 10 times 10. Or 1 with three zeros behind it. 10 to the second is 10 times 10. Or 1 with two zeros behind it. 10 to the first means there's only one 10. There's one and one zero behind it. 10 to the 0 is 1, with no zeros behind it. Okay, so this is how the numbers grow. Now, remember in elementary school, when you were taught the place, place values, the first ones are called the 1s, then the 10s, then the 100s, Then the thousands, then the ten thousands, then the hundred thousands, and so on and so forth. So each so if we had number three, five, four, two, one, one, that would be read three hundred and fifty four thousand. 211. Now what that means, we have one one, we have one ten, we have two hundreds, we have four thousands, we have five ten thousands, and we have three one hundred thousands. No, we have one one, one yeah, one one, one tens. So that'd be a one. One times ten is ten. Two times a hundred is two hundred. Four times a thousand is four thousand. Five times ten thousand is fifty thousand. And three times a hundred thousand is three hundred thousand. If we add up all these together, we would get three, five, four, two, one, one. Which that's where you were taught how to how to add, how to line up these numbers. Where do these numbers come from? Or we're dealing with a base 10 system, a decimal system. So, what makes, what defines our ones column? Our ones column is defined as 10 to the zero. Remember, decimals. base 10. So the first one is 10 to 0. Remember that equals 1. Next next one is the tens. So it's 10 to the first power. Next is hundreds. Hundreds. That's 10 to the second. Next is thousands. Thousand is ten to the third. Ten thousand is ten to the fourth. You know, I'm using K now because it's usually if you know, 
Y2K, that's the year 2000. So K stands for 1,000. Then we have 100,000, which is 10 to the fifth, and so on and so forth. So, when I, if I had two numbers, to so say 25, and I multiply it, since we're dealing with multiplication, times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 5. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 is 7. So it equals... 75, which is 7 times 10, which is 70. 5 times 1, which is 5, so equals 75. So that's how each one of these numbers corresponds to one of these. You heard of computers and how they deal with something called binary. Binary is a base 2 system. All computers understand are zeros or ones. That's a base 2. Remember, whatever the base is, that base tells you, starting from zero, how many numbers you have. Remember, we have a base 10, so you start at zero. That's the first number. Then the second, then the third. You have to have 10 of those, which ends at 9. In base 2, 1, 2. So, our numbers cannot be anything larger than 1 or 0. You can't have a 3 or a 2 or a 5 or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. So, let's, let's say I have the number 1101. One, one. That's, that's a binary number. Actually, that's the smallest, smallest symbol a computer understands. You need to have four. These are called bits. That's called a byte. Let's convert this to decimal. Alright. So, we know the first one is 2 to the 0. The second column is 2 to the 1st. The third is 2 to the 2nd. And the fourth is 2 to the 3rd. Two, 2 to the 3rd. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 1st is 2, 2 to the 0 is 1. These are the equivalence numbers. This is binary. These are the decimal equivalents. So our number, 1101, we use a 1, so that's 1. No 2s, so there's nothing there. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 8 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So, 1101 in binary equals 13 in base 10. Let's try another one. One zero. This is base two. So again, this is the first one. That's two to the zero. This is two to the first. Two to the second. Two to the third. Two to the zero is one. Two to the first is two. Two to the third. Uh, two to the second is four, and two to the third is eight. So we converted to 
our decimal numbers. Let's put this code beneath there. 1001. Zero, zero, one. Basically, ones means the door is open, zero means door is closed. What numbers fall through? The eight falls through, the one falls through. Add those together, we got a nine. Let's try a little bit bigger one. Let's convert that binary number into a, our decimal equivalent. This is base 10. So, our binary. This is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1st is 2. So basically, if you notice, what's happening is 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. Times 2 is 64. You just double it each time. That's why binary is so cool. So we have a one zero one zero one one. One zero one zero one one. So this one we don't need. So anyway, anything that has a one underneath it falls through. So that's thirty two. Sixteen comes through. The four comes through. And the one comes through. Add up those numbers. 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 32 is 52, plus 1 is 53. Okay, so that's binary. That's going from binary to decimal. We can also go backwards. We can also go from decimal to binary. Let's say... 37. This is base 10. What is it in binary? So let's see. We have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4. So that's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Two to the fourth, I'm sorry. Two to the fifth, sixteen times two is thirty-two. We still need a bigger one, so we have to go in here. Two to the six, which is sixty-four. So that way we will be sure to include everything. Even though thirty-two is all we're gonna need. So start with we can't use sixty-four, so that one we don't need. 32. Does 32 fit in 37? Yes. So, 37 minus 32 is 5. Does 16 fit in 5? No. Does 8 fit in 5? No. Does 4 fit in 5? Yes. So, let's subtract 4 points. Does 2 fit in 1? No. Does 1 fit in 1? Yes. So, This is the binary equivalent of 37. All right, that's binary. Let's look at base five systems. Base five systems, again, start with zero, one, two, three, Four. So anything bigger than four goes to the next level. You can't have a number bigger than four. Five to the zero, five to the one, five to the two, five to the three, five to the four, and so on and so forth. So five to the zero is one, five to the first is five. 
squared is 25. So I should basically 5 to the third is 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5. Seven twenty-five, and so on and so forth. So let's say I give you thirteen base five times four base five. How would you write that? So we have thirteen times four. 3 times 4 is 12. So we can put a 2 here. Then we have to carry over that extra 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so that's 0, because we can't have anything bigger than 4. So we can't.